So let's talk about the politics of the Gilded Age. And so during the Gilded Age, which lasted from 1865 to 1898, otherwise known as period 6 in AP US history, you have a lot of corruption going on in politics. Uh, and because we're talking about politics today, I'm going to be in my politics chair. This is what I call my politics chair from now on. Whenever we talk about politics on this channel, we're going to be in the politics chair. So, again, back to the corruption that we had in the politics. So the politics were very corrupt because the businesses had a lot of money, and people like money, of course, so um, they lobbied the government, and the people, and the politicians were able to take that money, and in return for taking the money of the businesses, they passed legislation and, you know, did government actions that aided the businesses. And during this time period, you have a lot, you have a lot of fine lines between the two major politic, uh, po political parties, uh, the Democrats and the Republicans. And they're both pro-business, they're both hands-free, uh, laissez-faire, meaning hands-free, of course. Um, and, well, it's just that they weren't very good politicians at this time period because a lot of them were very, they seemed good on the outside, but they were very corrupt on the outside. Um, and on the inside, it was terrible. Otherwise, you know, which is how Mark Twain coined the phrase Gilded Age because on the outside, it seemed all gold and nice and luxurious, but on the inside, it was corrupt and terrible. And so this is just a short discussion of the politics of the Gilded Age. Um, and so you have, and I'll just give, and to end off the video of these politics, um, because this is a really short video, I'll give you an example of these terrible policies that these politicians had. Grover Cleveland in 1894 put down the Pullman strike, which was a strike of workers against Pullman, uh, against Pullman Cars, which was a company desi um, that designed and built luxury train cars because they had cut their wages uh, in the panic. Cleveland had been appealed to by the railroad industries and Pullman and sent a mail car to Ohio where the strike was taking place. And when the car was stopped, it became a federal issue so he was able to take, use the federal military to put down the strike. More than 60 people were killed because of that. And the Pullman strikers could have won if the government had not intervened. And because there were no good state militias, nor, were there a, there, nor there was, was there a police department at this time, they would have won. And we don't know what could have happened if they had won because Cleveland put down the strike, we don't know what happened. And he put down the strike because he had been appealed to and lobbied by these railroad industries. And that's just one example of what had happened during this gilded age of politics.